It's blocked. It looks like a tiny hole. What's the combination? I bet those were deer mice. Speakeasy. Joe Akers? Emily said Jeff Akers' father was named Joe. Maybe Jeff is related to William Akers after all. The dogs will lead the way. I wonder what that means. Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Are you aware that you're the proud owner of your very own cemetery? Yes. When the realtor told me there was a cemetery on the property, I went, ugh. But when I saw how far from the house it was and how small it was, I decided I could live with it, as it were. Do you know if Malone is really buried there? The realtor said the cemetery was just a sham, that there's nothing under those tombstones but dirt. But he may have just been saying that so I'd buy the place. The only way to know for sure whether or not Malone is there is to start digging, and I'm certainly not going to do that. Talk to you later. Bye.
Good news. I have information on your mystery woman. You are incredible, Ranger Acres. What did you find out? Her name these days is Vivian Whitmore. She lives in Las Vegas, and her number is 702-555-9137. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? Oh, there's something here for you from the State Department of Health. Oh my gosh, not only is the water bad, but it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. I wouldn't go jumping to conclusions without proof, Ms. Drew. I'm sure there's a far less melodramatic explanation. Where's Yogi? In the run, out back. Even out of sight, he's under my full control, as park rules require. What can you tell me about the gold that Malone supposedly buried on his property? As far as I know, it doesn't exist. It's just one of those rumors people want to believe, so they do. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Hello there. What do you know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I understand he used to be the deputy here. So? According to Emily Griffin, Deputy Joe Akers was your father. And according to the journal I found, William Akers' son was named Joe. Another coincidence? All right, all right. William Akers was my grandfather. Why didn't you tell me that before? It's not exactly something I'm proud of. My father spent his whole life trying to make people forget what my grandfather was, and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same thing. What did William Akers do after Malone was arrested? I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, Miss Drew. In case you've forgotten, I'm a very busy man. Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? I'm afraid I have some bad news. I had your well water tested, and according to the health department, it contains a very high level of arsenic. Arsenic? Somebody poisoned my well? The health department can't say for sure yet, but if that is the case, do you have any idea who would do a thing like that? No. And it doesn't matter. I love that house, and I am going to live in it. If that well's bad, I'll just dig another one. At least, I will when I know for sure why bad things keep happening there. You are going to figure that out, right, Nancy? You bet I am. I knew I could count on you. Were you ever told that Mickey Malone supposedly buried a small fortune in gold bullion somewhere on your property and that it has yet to be found? Is this a joke? Malone supposedly stole a bunch of gold bars off a train and buried them at Moon Lake. You never heard about that? Uh, no. Could it be true? It could be, yes. But even if it is a rumor, it seems kind of odd that no one around here ever mentioned it to you. How did you hear about it? I found the journal of a man named William Akers in a safe in your cellar. He was one of Malone's closest associates. Ever hear of him? Never. In the paperwork that you had to wade through when you bought this property, do you recall ever coming across the name Vivian Whitmore? No, I sure don't. Who's she? A close friend of Mickey Malone's, or so it would seem. Her name wasn't anywhere on the deed. I know that. Talk to you later. Thanks again, Nancy.
If you're selling something, hang up right now. I got an air horn in my hand that could deafen a dinosaur, and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, no, no, please. I'm not selling anything. Believe me. Is this Vivian Whitmore? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. You got exactly five seconds to state your business. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Moon Lake, Pennsylvania. I just wanted to ask you some questions. All right. The Moon Lake Park Ranger said you might call, but you have to talk fast. An old friend of mine is flying in today from Florida. And when I say old, I mean old, as in five years older than I am. Don't bother trying to do the math, sweet stuff. You'll hurt yourself. So, that ranger fella said you found an old picture of me. That's right. I found it in the cellar of Mickey Malone's old house on Moon Lake. Moon Lake. Talk about your fond memories. I had a lot of fun there. Although I wasn't anywhere near as wild as most young people were back then. But I think Mickey kind of respected me for that. I was his gal for five years. He always kept birch beer on tap at that speakeasy of his just for me. Tell me about the speakeasy. It was in the basement, right there at Moon Lake. Feds never knew about it, but everybody who was anybody on the East Coast back then, actors, musicians, bankers, politicians, they knew. You weren't big time unless you'd made at least one trip to Moon Lake Mickey's. That's weird. I'm staying in his old house on Moon Lake, and I haven't seen any sign of a speakeasy. Course you haven't. You're not supposed to. Only Mickey and Willie knew how to get into the speakeasy from the house. The rest of us had to go in and out the regular way, through the cemetery. The cemetery? There was a lock hidden in one of the tombstones in that little cemetery behind the house. You needed a key to unlock it, and when you did, stairs would appear that led to the speakeasy. Do you have any idea how to get into Malone's speakeasy from the house? I sure don't. That saloon was built using two main ingredients. Concrete and secrecy. Mickey always bragged that nobody could get in unless he wanted them in, and I do believe he was right. But I'll tell you what. If you sent me that picture of me and Mickey, I'll send you my key. The key to the tombstone? You still have it? It's in the bottom of my jewelry box. I've come this close to throwing it out a hundred times, but... It's so small, and the memories it brings back are so big. Well, I just couldn't, as a joke. Mickey had a tombstone made with the name of this federal agent who had it out for him, inscribed on it. That's the one the key unlocks. William Akers, the guy you call Willie. He wrote about looking for the gold that Malone had supposedly buried on his property at Moon Lake. Do you know anything about that? The hole in the floor gold heist. Well, I'll be darned. That was the name Acres used, too. What else can you tell me? Truth be told, when Mickey told me he was the one who pulled off that heist and that he'd buried 20 gold bars at Moon Lake, I didn't believe him. I thought he was making it up. See, Mickey and I were on the outs by then. I thought he was just trying to entice me to come back. But if he told Willie the same thing... Maybe there's something to the story after all. Do you have any idea where he might have hidden it? Afraid not. Mickey was so secretive that the men who completed his house at Moon Lake were not only forbidden to talk about the work they'd done, but they were ordered to leave the state for good or else. But you know, I think he mentioned a map. Yes. He said he was making a treasure map in that... The dogs... Something about those dogs of his. The dogs will lead the way? He was always saying that. In fact, I'm pretty sure he had it engraved on his tombstone. Think, Viv, think. He said he was making a treasure map and that he was also having paintings done of each dog. He made it sound like one thing had something to do with the other, like he was giving me some big important clue. But I just figured he was playing games, trying to lure me back with mystery and intrigue. I told him to buzz off. Maybe I shouldn't have. Did he say what he was going to do with the paintings? He said he was going to hang them in the speakeasy, and I'm sure that's precisely what he did. 
Can you remember anything about Malone's dogs that might suggest where he hid the gold? I stayed away from his dogs. They made me nervous, always jumping around, barking at this or that. The only one I liked was... Uh, oh, what was his name? Iggy! I liked Iggy because he was nice and quiet. He just lay on the porch all day and didn't make a peep. Do you know anything about the safe that's in the cellar of his house at Moon Lake? You must be talking about the wall safe. That was Willie. By Willie, I mean William Akers, one of the guys who worked for Mickey. Did all Malone's employees have their own safes? Not hardly. Mickey treated most of his employees like dirt, but not Willie. He honestly liked Willie, trusted him. And when Willie decided he wanted his own safe, Mickey said, what the hey? No one knew the combination, not even Mickey. Mostly because Willie was constantly changing it. He was a little paranoid and superstitious. Well, as I recall, he picked the most unlucky number he could think of and used that for the combination. He called it a reverse jinx. It's been fun talking to you. Absolutely, positively. I apologize for my previous behavior. As a park ranger, I strive to keep my personal feelings in check at all times, and that time I failed. It's my duty as a public servant to try to make it up to you. What would you like to know? Did your grandfather ever find any gold on Malone's property? If he did, he never spent it. He wasn't poor when he died, but he certainly wasn't rich. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Hello again, Miss Drew. Am I in for another interrogation? I'd like to mail this photo to the woman in Las Vegas. Can you do that for me? As always, I'm here to serve, Miss Drew. Just give it to me, and I'll take care of it. I'm sure she'll be very pleased to get this back. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. 